Hello students, today we will be discussing about an important topic that is known as turbulent flow. So let us start turbulent flow. Students, let us start with turbulent flow and understand what is the nature of flow so that we can call it turbulent flow. Now, in the case of streamline flow, we learned that the particles of the fluid, that means if uh, water is there, liquid is there, then if a particular movement of a uh, set of molecules follow a given uh, path that is uh, streamline, then all the particles, all the particles have to pass through a, that same path and at each point, the velocity of all the particles would be same. And at different points of the streamline, the velocity might be different. And they maintain orderly flow. So the orderly flow of liquid is or gases is called streamline flow. In case of turbulent, the order is not maintained. That means if the flow velocity, velocity of flow of fluid, if is gradually increased, then at a certain value called critical value, if the velocity is more than that critical value, then the flow will become turbulent. That means it will convert from streamline flow to turbulent flow. So first let us uh, write the definition. If So that flow is called as turbulent flow. Now in turbulent flow, suppose this is the path the liquid has to follow. A, B, C are the particles. Suppose it has to pass through this point. Then in case of streamline, the suppose the velocity at this point is suppose V. Then all the particles when B, C passes through this point. So its velocity of C will be V, velocity of B also will be V, velocity of A also will be V. This is in case of streamline flow. But in case of uh, turbulent flow, the same point when C passes its velocity will be suppose VC. And when A passes VA, B passes VV, then if VC is like that, V A might be in any direction and V B might be some other direction. So the velocity will change both in terms of magnitude and direction and they are not equal. in terms of magnitude and direction, the velocity will change. In terms of magnitude and direction. And that type of flow is called as a uh, turbulent flow. Example, you can take example of uh, turbulent flow that uh, in case of uh, smooth flow of water in a river in uh, normal days the flow is very smooth and that is uh, streamlined flow but when the speed of the water increases and uh, when it is increased too much in case of uh, flood the 
water in the river becomes turbulent. And the liquid will move in any direction, any random direction, and it might also rotate, giving rise to eddies. So, there will be a rotational motion of uh, a liquid. The molecules will have a rotational motion, giving rise to whirlpool, and uh, the pattern of uh, flow cannot be defined and that uh, directions of molecules will be random so that type of flow is known as turbulent flow now uh, the one scientist called Reynold gives the idea of uh, um, how to find the flow uh, whether it is uh, turbulent or streamlined he gave a number known as Reynolds number that we'll discuss after this video okay so that's all for uh, your turbulent flow thank you